Welcome back to Mona Image. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Ushe. I'm a lover of fashion, the business of fashion. I'm also a little obsessed with vintage. If this is your first time, I do a lot of styling content here, primarily through thrifted or vintage finds. So if you do like styling content, please consider subscribing. I'd love for you to join the family. So today I have a very special unboxing and I'm just gonna go straight into it because I cannot wait. It just got delivered and I need to see this right now. So let's get into this. So I've already taken it out of the shipping package off camera and the bag that I'm about to unbox is from Teddy Blake and I have worked with Teddy Blake in the past and I'm so happy that they have gifted me this handbag. This being my birthday month, I'm looking at it as one of my birthday presents. <laughs> and what I love with Teddy Blake is one, the quality leather and two, the craftsmanship. It is pristine and you're gonna see it in my bag that I've selected. This is how we open it. I love the box. You can definitely reuse this for storage. Um, but yeah, love, love this. I haven't done like an unboxing here in a while. It comes nicely packaged and taut in this little box. And <laughs> I'm so giddy right now because I know, no, no. So it comes in their dust bag, and from here you can get an idea of the color. <laughs> And the bag I have selected, oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you see this? Look at this. Look at this. It is precision itself. I, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm always speechless whenever I see a new bag. Oh my goodness, the photo was cute, but just having it here and that new bag smell. Guys, I love this navy color. Oh my God, especially with this green. Beautiful, look at this. And I love that it's a matte croc. Okay, let me give you the details <laughs> of this bag. So here she is. This is the Kate in the navy croc. I really wanted navy. I have um, no navy. I have a lot of blacks or whatever, but I wanted a navy and this did not disappoint. Again, it's in the matte croc. This I can see, you know, dressed up with a fabulous like maxi or midi dress being all feminine, but I also see this with like jeans, like um, um, blue jeans, this little sweater, uh, probably like a little coat over it. I think this would look perfectly with that. You know, <clears throat> seeing it in the photos versus having it in my hand and feeling it. Um, the beauty with Teddy Blake, you're getting Italian craftsmanship quality leather. When I tell you the precision of um, how their bags are made, it, it, it just, it blows my mind. And the minute you hold the bag in your hand, you feel it. So I absolutely love that. The other thing is they're inspired. You'll find designs that are inspired by other no name luxury brands. And for them, you're getting the luxury um, product without the luxury price. Cause I believe you can get bags like 500 and below, which is insane for the quality of this, um, of how well made this is. Uh, let me go in because there's more. <laughs> These little things um, pop open both sides. Yes, it pops open both sides. So you have this little um, thing at the back which allows the bag to open wider. Nice. Uh, cross body strap is in here. Take out the stuff in. Okay, and then you have a zip here and you have a zip on this side as well with the um, little branding here. It also has a very discreet branding on the front in just like gold um, text right here. So if you're looking for your quiet luxury type handbag, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let me try and put on the crossbody. 
Well, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to style it with something so that you can see what it looks like um, with um, an outfit and I'll put the crossbody on as well. But definitely you want to check out Teddy Blake because I absolutely love it. This is my fourth Teddy Blake bag. Um, my evening wear ones I cherish. I keep them in their dust bags on my shelf because, you know, I want to preserve it as much as possible. I love 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 this so the kate is a new favorite i have the bella in two sizes i have the kim in lizard which obsessed and this is my new obsession so definitely check out teddy blake you will not regret it if you're looking if you're in the market to treat yourself for a bag for the holidays i think this is your bag you won't blow the budget but you will feel like a million dollars carrying this bag trust <laughs> And if there were designer bags that you wanted to try the style before you, you know, put it on your wish list for the future when you have that kind of money, then you can enjoy that style right now uh, by getting one of the Teddy Blake bags. And just believe me, the feel of this, the feel of this, this is not any light, um, cheap material. This is high quality high quality i absolutely love this i love my choice of bag as well so yeah this is my latest um kate navy croc from teddy blake absolutely love it guys please check into the description box for the link to this bag and for the teddy blake site and you can see a lot more gorgeous bags um on the site as well so absolutely love this Thank you, Teddy Blake. You never disappoint, so I am just floored <laughs> again with this little bag. So thank you so much. Okay, for the cup fit with me, this week I went back to my unique, or I think they're just calling it unique now, in Union City, New Jersey. That's kind of one of my go-to places. And I am just going to go into the cup with me, and then I'll come back here and I'll show you what I got. So I headed straight to the coats and this is the first one that I saw. Nice camel coat but it's a little oversized and doesn't have enough structure. It's falling a little too much. Then I saw this fur coat. Um, it's very, very fitted. I love how it fits on me but I'm not sure. But it's gorgeous. Floor length. It's $50 though, guys. I don't know. <laughs> That's my whole budget. But it's floor length. Oh my God. What shall I do? This is fabulous. I say I'm looking for warmth, but so far this is the only thing that I've picked up from the women's blouses. <laughs> uh, I, You know, this is very versatile and timeless, so why not? Similar to the blue one I just found, this is like this furry little cardigan. This is like a double-breasted cardigan. This is so cute. Um, it has a little like leather patch. It's by Imago. Imago, I don't know how to pronounce that. Dolman sleeves. This is absolutely fabulous. They want 25 for this. I'll at least try it on. Found some fabulous like jacket blouses. This one is by Karen Miller. They want $10 for this. I love the little lace inlay right here. It's missing all the buttons. <laughs> but I do love a, a velvet um, sweetheart neckline. It has a little tear here as well. They're very cute. This is also really fun. I love the uh, vintage um, I don't know what you call that in front um, and uh, the buttons as well it's not my size but you know it's still cute to look at this is such a lovely like um, Asian inspired um, like dress jacket this is in a velvet it has no buttons of course it's just a throw over whatever you're wearing which would be really cute um, but not functional for me. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Oh, very lovely. They want $60 for that. That's a very good price. Um, oh, it's a cape. Oh my God. What am I going to do today? I'm not being spared on any fronts. I saw this suede, um, slightly flare pants by Amy. 
but it's thirty dollars. <laughs> Thirty dollars for this pan, so yeah, it. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the winter prices right now. So I went through dresses, and these are what I pulled: dresses and sets in this section. I loved the color of this. This is like a draped neck little dress, um, midi dress, I think. So this is a contender. This is by Patty O'Neill. They want ten dollars for this. I loved the color and flow of this. I love that it was a high neck. They want $20 for this one. Um, so this is a maybe. I'm already over budget. <laughs> I love this quilted house coat. It does have some um, color discolorations on it. But I thought, you know, talk about throwback. This little jumpsuit as well. I just recently got a jumpsuit. But this one is more of a linen-y. Well, not so much linen something material this is by jo john roberts and they want 30 dollars for this so <laughs> out of budget what is the most distressing thing is this purple leather skirt set by wilson's the top says it's a medium but look at the skirt whose waist is this whose waist is this this is probably like 20 inches Whose waist is this, really? <laughs> and so, to my distress, I'm not going to separate it because the jacket would probably fit me, but this skirt would not would probably just fit one of my legs in it, but gorgeous. You guys are really good at letting me know what type of fur. So this one is like nice and soft, but this one is a bit um, brittle. It's still soft, but it's more like a short fur, brittle kind of feel. What type of fur is this? So as you can see from the come through with me, I was in a danger zone. They had a lot of great things. Sometimes you end up with a few things because there wasn't much, there was a lot. Listen, I ran out of that place so fast because I was about to, you know, dip into my pension fund <laughs> with some of the pieces that I saw, but I had to be, you know, rein it in. And so I just, you know, I knew what I wanted and I just picked up a couple more things to go with that. So <laughs> I did end up going over budget. I spent a little over $70, which it's, you know, I tried, I tried, I tried, I tried. It's my birthday month. I don't want to spend all um, on the clothes and then I can't go anywhere. So I have to, you know, I have to rein it in. So um, I'll start out with this sweater i did go ahead and get this um furry with leather fabulousness um it is double breasted the other one that i recently got um is not double breasted it's just a regular cardigan but this is a double breasted cardigan it feels great just looking at it i'm like you know maybe maybe not but then when i tried it on i'm like I have to get this. I'm sorry about this hair situation going on. Okay. <laughs> um, I forgot to look what 
the fabric content was. Can I find it? So the brand is by Indigo. Is it a little blown out? Yeah, Indigo. I am not seeing an additional fabric label. Sometimes if that's, you know, rubbing against the skin, people would take those out. So I understand. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what the fabric content it does feel really soft there could be some cashmere in there it feels really good um and the leather it feels like it could possibly be a faux leather um i wanted to see if it was um like just a soft like lamb leather but it could be something like that or it could be a faux leather um Regardless, I just really loved the color of this. This is an old mealy color. Um, I'm not a fan of the buttons. I'll show you why in a second. So this is what the buttons look like. Just the color scheme was fine, but then, you know, I guess it's supposed to be like a snowflake, but with those holes in it, it's kind of triggering if you don't like holes things. So I might change that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, for now with it, it looks nice. I just won't look too close at it, but it kind of freaks me out a little bit <laughs> when I looked at it a little closer, but overall, I really love this cardigan. So yeah. So first up is this sweater, this little double breasted cardigan type sweater. Just put on this little, um, t-shirt in the cool tone, um, with it. I decided that I loved how this dropped like the length of it. I thought this would look great with just a little mini skirt peeking out. Added some um, saddle boots with this just to keep it nice and casual, but still very fall. Um, this Gucci bucket bag, their monogram um, print is usually cool tone, so I knew it would go nice with this sweater as well. And I love, love, love this. So very chic, very casual, very cool. And I love this little outfit. So yeah, I could do it with jeans, but I thought let's try it with skirts. Yes, the skirt is a little more warm tone. It's not the perfect combo. Um, I think a nice white skirt or like a creamy skirt would really pop onto this as well. Um, but yeah, just added some little accessories and I love how chic and how laid back. This feels very comfy on. Um, the boots are providing warmth for the legs and up here feels really toasty. So yeah, it's still very comfy, cozy for fall and I love this. Next up is this vintage dress. I just loved the drape in here. I love the shoulder pads. I love the, you know, the cut here for this dress. Now, sometimes you'll see me pick up similar things and that's something to know. One of the reasons you'll find people are able to just get dressed quickly is because you know what silhouettes already complement your body. And I do know that this kind of um, cow neck style blouse and with this like fit and flare, is really complimentary to my body. So the minute I see something like that, it's only if it's in my size and I like the color scheme, then I'll know if it's something that I would wear when I take it home, but I already know that it will fit my body type. So um, one of those things that if you have struggles um, getting dressed or you know pairing stuff together, is like making a mental note of um, silhouettes that are flattering on you because you have that, you can recreate it in so many different ways. So that's a huge tip if, you know, there are days that you just don't know um, when you're, especially when you're out thrifting and you can't try things on, then you can look at it and like this silhouette, you know, if you have a slight um, extended stomach where a fit and flare may not be flattering, an A-line might be flattering on you. So you just have those mental notes when you're going thrifting, but I digress. Back to this dress. This dress is by Patty Patty O'Neill, made in the USA. That's what the label looks like. Right. So with this one, it only says dry clean only. I don't know what the fabric content. Of course, the law for um, proper labeling in, in clothing came after this. I should know it, but I, I, I'm slipping right now. <laughs> So that's why a lot of the vintage pieces don't have proper labeling, but that's kind of what triggered them to pass the law to make sure that all the fabric content, etc., 
must be in garments before they're sold. So, you know, right now we're not so sure. The other thing with this, so the top half has this kind of satiny kind of fabric up here. And then the bottom half is like a cotton rayon type fabric. Now, not only that, the bottom half is like a paisley print design, whereas on top, it's abstract. Now, initially when I saw it, I'm like, did someone just sew a blouse and a skirt together? <laughs> However, when I looked at the color tones, there is like the, the aqua, but there's also a hint of pink and purple, and it's, the theme runs through both. So it made me convinced enough that this mismatch <laughs> was actually intentional. So I decided, you know, I'm going to grab it. It looks very interesting. Um, I hope it fits. It does say it is a size 8, but it's vintage size 8, so that should be fine for me. But yeah, I, you know, it also has like a little mop neck situation, so I have high hopes for this. <laughs> Hopefully it fits well. So that's the next thing that I got. So here is my vintage dress. It looked like it's swallowing me up for a little bit. Um, I was just paired with these booties. Um, kitten heel boots because we're dressing it for fall. Now, two things I'd say. One, I, of course, just by pulling the sleeves up, it just frames the top half here already. It looks better. And for me, I think this billowing is a little too low. So I'll have to see how I can fit this so it doesn't fall all the way down here but i do love the shape of it you can see it's just very um relaxed and romantic i can eat i can do whatever i want and <laughs> i don't have to worry about bulges etc i love um the pairing of the two different patterns or fabrics it's giving a really nice depth and for bag of course i've picked up the teddy blake kate this navy works so well with this aqua there's some little navy hints in here as well so this is what it looks like um i wanted you to see the shot this cross body it does adjust in length here and it also comes with this little clutch which i didn't notice before it's just for styling um of course i'm sure i put that on wrong but i'll see how <laughs> i'll look back on the website to see how they put this on but um just so you can see for shoulder length if i just wanted to go like really feminine girly kind of look then I could just wear it like that. If I wanted to do a short crossbody, then this is what it looks like, but I could also um, lengthen the strap. For me, however, when I saw this, I knew absolutely it's a top handle bag for me. So this is the little um, fasteners um, that you can use to adjust the straps. There's even two more holes if I wanted to make it really short for that shoulder strap that I could do that. But I'm just taking the straps off for now because I just wanted you to see it just as this. Now, you can see again, um, it's just really standing out how beautiful this bag is. The quality is insane. Now, you know this is made in Italy and before I knew anything about leather, if anything I knew it was Italian made leather, products were always pristine and this, is testament to that look at her absolutely love it i've um, snapped this back to close it and keep the shape oh my goodness but anyhow so this is my dress um styled for fall finally the decision of the coats oh my goodness that cape had i decided to blow the budget even though it was a little wider than my shoulder, it kept going back. I, you know, I think I would have gotten it and just made it work. <laughs> but at $60, I think it was, um, I decided to let that one go because it didn't fit perfectly. Um, otherwise, I would have just walked out with a cape and just bought nothing else. But I decided to leave that for someone else who I'm sure is gonna fit like a dream. If I go back there and it's still there, then too bad. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to take it because it's a sign. So of the coat situation, I ended up grabbing this fur coat. I almost left this 
um even though this one i think is the most wearable in terms of i just see this with like jeans and a sweater under it um i expect i think this is great for just casual wear and so that's why i wanted this but if i had to choose between this and this one which was a maxi length coat with fur on the cuffs and on the collar the fur here is so soft and lovely then i would have just taken this because this was as a cost of 50 dollars, which was my full budget um there were some discounts i think on the other pieces and possibly a small discount on this as well but the reason i ended up taking this because this was on mega super discount sale i think this yeah so this was 25 dollars, and i think i got it for eight so to get a fur coat for eight i'm just like just add it to the bag it's okay i'll worry about it later um so that's the last thing that i got let's try these on and see what these coats look like i yeah i think i'm set i need to go into the storage unit to pull and see what i have <laughs> i'm probably multi buy somewhere but you know you can never have too many coats when you're in a cold climate for eight months out of the year so i think it's necessary but yeah let's see what these look like and if i want to arrive in glamour <laughs> then this is the first of the coats now when i was in unique in um plainfield i had tried on a similar coat in the brown and remember i said that just was a little too big this is what i expect because with how the cuffs are it needs to hit where it's supposed to the shoulders need to hit where it's supposed to for it to feel really comfortable on so that should have been this size because why this was you know definitely put on the pile is because it hits and it, it sits on my shoulders so nicely that i just when i saw that it was on mega super sale i decided this would have been my next choice anyways again with my uber luxurious bags i'm just looking like a million dollars if i may say so myself <laughs> but i love this and the navy with black it is stunning like it again because it is a matte black it is perfect so yeah this is my coat with a little aqua peeking out i love this absolutely love this but yeah so this is what it looks like blush and finally my maxi coat with the fur collar and cuff again i've grabbed my little bag um but when i saw that this went all the way to the floor i just absolutely had to grab this i have no fur length um black jacket like this <laughs> she says um but yeah and to see it completely buttoned all the way up this is what it looks like look at the a-line look at the shape that this is giving i love this <laughs> i could not believe that i found it the only problem with this is i can already tell it's going to be a lint magnet so i better have all my um lint rolls ready but could not pass this up um yeah just i tell you when it's this cold sometimes you don't even get to take your coat off so your coat in itself needs to be a statement and just going in with my little navy bag my fur my well-fitted like a-line coat love love this i cannot believe there's nothing at the back um it's just a nicely like stitched <laughs> and structured coat so yeah i'm feeling feeling very luxurious um with this haul and i love it absolutely love it so guys that's it thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out the description box for more information on teddy blake the one i have is the kate in the navy croc love 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 it it's the nine inch if you wanted to know the exact size but do have a browse of all their beautiful well crafted um you know gorgeous leather bags 
you will not disappoint. Absolutely check that out. I'll put it in the description box. And as well, don't forget to let me know in the comment section what look is your favorite, what piece is your favorite as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Please subscribe. I'd love for you to join the family. And if you did like this video, please give it a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.